Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation. My name is Diego de Benito from the Audias Research Group at Universidad Autónoma de Madrid. And I am going to introduce our paper, a multi-resolution approach to sound event detection in the case task four. The structure of the presentation will go as follows. First, I will explain the motivation for this work. Then I will briefly talk about the case task four and its baseline system. The multi-resolution analysis, which is one of the main contributions of this work, will be discussed next, and then some other details such as model fusion and post-processing. Finally, the results and the conclusions of this work. Sound event detection systems aim to determine the temporal locations of acoustic events and are often evaluated by means of the F1 score. The most usual approach employs male spectrograms as input features structured at a single time frequency resolution and normally use 0.5 as a threshold to obtain temporal predictions. Given that different acoustic events show different temporal and spectral characteristics, we propose the use of multiple time frequency resolution points, which should be beneficial for sound event detection performance. Additionally, we explore the use of class specific thresholds for predictions instead of assuming 0.5 as the best option. We have submitted our systems to the sound event detection scenario in the case task four. The case task four consists on detection and classification of 10 different sound events in domestic environments. The data set used is DSET, which contains a 10 second audio clips, uh, mixing real and synthetic recordings, and mixing weak labels, strong labels, and unlabeled data. The baseline system is a convolutional recurrent neural network trained with the mean teacher scheme and it uses a uh, male spectrogram features extracted at a single resolution point. We have used this system as a starting point to carry out the experiments described in this work. The motivation for a multi resolution analysis is the differences in temporal and spectral characteristics presented by different categories of sound events. Therefore, different time frequency resolutions could be more suited to certain event categories and using several resolutions could improve the performance of sound event detection systems. For instance, a temporal characteristic of events is their durations. These three histograms show that the distributions of durations are very different from one class to another. Each time frequency resolution point for male spectrogram features is defined by a set of parameters, which are the audio sampling frequency, the size of the fast Fourier transform, the window type, length, and hope, and the number of male filters employed. It's important to note that there is a compromise between time and frequency resolutions, as increasing one of them implies decreasing the other one. To explain the convenience of multi-resolution, two examples are given. These are two spectrograms extracted at two different resolution points from the same recording of an electric shaver. The audio segment presents some frequential components that remain constant in time. This is much better represented in the bottom male spectrogram which offers a higher frequency resolution. This example shows two male spectrogram representations for the sound of an alarm bell. There are three repetitions of a tone at the beginning of the audio segment that are only represented when using a higher temporal resolution. This is in the top male spectrogram. 
these are the parameters of the time frequency resolution point used in the baseline system. We will keep the sample frequency and the Hamming window while varying the rest of the parameters to define new resolution points. Five resolution points are defined. The first one is the baseline resolution point. Then we define two new points, one with twice better time resolution than the baseline and another one with twice better frequency resolution than the baseline. Finally, two additional resolution points are defined as the intermediate between the previous two points and the baseline resolution. The table shows the configuration of parameters for each resolution point. Once defined the different resolution points, we need some way to combine the information given by each one of them. First, we have trained single resolution detectors at different resolution points, and then we have combined them by means of a model fusion in order to obtain a multi-resolution system. Each single resolution model is based upon the baseline system, which outputs a time series between zero and one as the score for each target class. At this point, the fusion score for each target class is computed as the average of the scores of each model. Afterwards, the scores are binarized using a threshold with a default value of 0 0.5. Then a median filter is applied to avoid impulsive changes in the temporal predictions. Additionally, we have run experiments choosing the optimal threshold for each class over the validation set. Our first experiments involve single resolution models trained at each resolution point. The F1 results are provided in this table. The results show that different resolution points are more suited to detect certain event categories. The following table shows the results of the baseline system over the validation set as provided by the organizers. Our first experiment is a three resolution system combining the baseline resolution with the two points that double the time resolution and the frequency resolution respectively. And it's able to outperform the baseline. The next experiment combines the five resolution points obtaining further improvements. Over the five resolution system, we perform an additional experiment to see the best threshold for each class. This leads to better performance in every category. However, it's worth mentioning that these are optimistic results as the threshold has been chosen over the validation set. Both five resolution systems were submitted to the case task four and both of them were able to outperform the baseline. Half of the classes obtained better performance with the specific threshold, and the system with class-specific thresholds obtained a better overall performance. As conclusions to this work, we have proven that multi-resolution analysis can improve the performance of sound event detection systems. We were able to combine information of models with different resolutions by means of an average fusion. And finally, we have found that 0 0.5 is not necessarily the best threshold to compute F1 scores, although it's not clear yet how to achieve a good generalization with class-specific thresholds. Thank you very much for your attention. I'll be glad to address any question during the Q&A session.